When disasters like Hurricane Helene strike, the Salvation Army steps up to help those with emergency needs and remind them that hope is on the way. The Salvation Army in Aiken has been doing just that in the past few days of hurricane aftermath, serving not just Aiken County, but also Allendale, Barnwell, and Edgefield, too. Now, we are joined now by Captain Michael Good and Lieutenant Isaiah Rector to talk about their relief efforts in Aiken and the surrounding counties. Uh, guys, thank you so much for taking a little time out of what has been a very busy week for you guys, I'm sure. It has. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so thank you for joining us here. Um, it's been nearly a week now since the storm hit. Mm -hmm. You've already fed thousands of people in the area. Um, what all are you offering in the community for relief at this time? Yeah, so uh, Thursday night, uh, not really knowing what was hit our way, we went ahead and brought in emergency beds into our shelter, um, brought in emergency personnel to start operating. Emergency meals already really just uh, not really knowing what Friday morning <laughs> would mm -hmm. bring. And upon seeing the devastation, uh, the Salvation Army was uh, able and geared to instantly jump into action. And so by breakfast that morning, we were already serving emergency meals. Um, so to a date, as of last night, we have served a little over 9,000 meals in our service area. That's amazing. Um, and that's, that is uh, even down to even our emergency personnel. We've been blessed to be able to serve and feed them uh, the past couple of days. Um, every day on our social media, we post what sites we will be feeding at so that those that are seeking um, food and bottles of water, snacks, they know where to go in the community to, to find those meals. 9,000 people already, that's, that's mm -hmm. truly amazing. And it also speaks to the need that's going on right now. Very much. So what is the current situation at your shelter and your soup kitchen? Yeah, uh, so the soup kitchen and the shelter are at capacity. Um, soup kitchen, the line wraps around the building most days. Uh, the, what we're seeing in the shelter are not just those that were already struggling with homelessness in our area. We are now, uh, we have families and senior citizens that have lost homes, um, whose roofs have uh, been damaged by trees. And so they're with us at the shelter for, for the meantime. And so we are at capacity uh, doing what we can to serve the people in our counties. Isaiah, how does the Salvation Army prepare for a storm like Helene? I mean, nobody really can see this coming this far inland. Yeah, um, so the Salvation Army does a great job of getting out the word to all of us within the Salvation Army to try to just give us a little bit of a heads up of when storm systems, hurricanes, and things like that may be coming in. Uh, so when I got the call on Saturday morning, I already knew about the hurricane coming right. and I'd already kind of prepared my family and everything for the possibility that, oh, well, dad may have to go. And, you know, uh, it's been it's been a journey. <laughs> and you, you, you bring that up. We've been talking about this with the line men and the line women working also with the Red Cross and other organizations. Mm -hmm. You're leaving your family without power because you know you have a job to do as well. So mm -hmm. we thank you for that. And now let's talk about your current needs um, mm -hmm. at the shelter, at the soup kitchen, or whatever it is to help the community. What are those looking like? Yeah. So we are mass feeding now. We're feeding around 2,500 meals a day. Um, and so really the best way for individuals that would like to assist is to visit us at www.helpsalvationarmy.org to give a financial gift so that we can put those funds to exactly where they're needed on that day. Additionally, there's always a need for volunteers. Uh, if interested in serving on one of our mobile canteens, feeding, serving, uh, they can email us at a SC at USS.SalvationArmy.org. All right, and uh, all of those, and including the uh, website that is on our screen right now, how you can get help or you can help out as well. And uh, are you looking for volunteers right now? We are. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. There's a way to be able to do that, and not only here for Aiken, but also throughout the entire CSRA. And again, uh, your footprint extends so much more farther yeah. than Aiken as well. Once again, let's talk about the footprint that you're covering. Yeah, so the Salvation Army of Aiken actually covers Aiken County, Allendale, Barnwell, and Edgefield. Um, we've served in Barnwell, we've served in, um, in Edgefield in these days, the EOC um, in multiple places. Actually today we'll have a truck set up at the KJ's in Edgefield as well as a post office in Johnston, uh, just trying to reach some of the further hard hit areas that have yet to see power restored. And you have only been in the CSRA for a few months, so this is kind of the first. <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the belt. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> this is kind of the first storm um, that you've seen yeah. in your time as captain. So kind of talk to us about what that's been like. Yeah, so I've actually um, served on disaster response with the Salvation Army for the past 15 years, um, but I've actually never lived in an area that was hit uh, by a storm. So the response is, is very different when you live in the same area um, that, that 
uh, you are now having to serve disaster. Uh, so again, Friday morning, left family at home, no power, trees on our house to get to our shelter to make sure our people were good and, and to start feeding the community. So, but what I can say is that um, the counties we serve, um, the members of our, our community have just stepped up in amazing ways to support the work that we're doing and to support each other. Really, there's only way to move forward. It's, it's that it's with organizations and government and the community supporting each other to move forward. Absolutely. Well, we have seen the organizations working together throughout the area as well. It's, an, it's, an, it's a beautiful infrastructure that we're seeing and we couldn't do it without you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much for all the Thank information. You. Once again, uh, let people know how they can find out information, where you're going to be set up. Yeah, so they can actually go to our Facebook page. It's the Salvation Army of Aiken. Um, and every single day we post early in the morning and mid-afternoon what locations we'll be at. So if they are hungry, looking for food, looking for bottles of water, they can find us at those locations. All right, wonderful. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate Hands it. and feet on the ground and helping people um, through something that we're all going through right now. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. very much. Appreciate it.